Good afternoon, everyone, or you know, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, so the topic for today, it's almost a follow on really from yesterday when we very briefly touched on uh, the topic of imposter syndrome. And actually, imposter syndrome is it's it's quite a big topic because it really gets to the core of things. Um, the core of the effects of abuse in childhood. And we're going to explore it a little bit further today under this topic. I feel like I do adult things, but inside I feel like a lost child. Is that something that you feel? I mean, perhaps you feel like you're you're adulting, as they call it. I mean, you're doing all the things that a functional adult does. You go to work you you know you have pay your bills etc etc you take responsibility but within you uh there's a sense of it sort of uh, there being a bit of a disconnect from how you feel within you perhaps within you you're 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 still that little child almost wanting an adult to come in um and help you and 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 take take charge um and and actually that's that's exactly what you needed back then in childhood and you didn't get you 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 were yearning as a young child for a, a secure strong uh adult who would be able to come in and help to show you how to cope with your inner world um and you know with many parents uh many of our parents uh, that they were emotionally neglectful because they themselves were emotionally neglected. Uh, they were narcissistic or they were depressed. Uh, they were not present. And, and so we were left uh, trying to cope with our inner world, with our emotions and feelings and experiences on our own. Um, and that is the sense that you may have of that little inner child within you still today saying, I can't cope. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle this but I've got to put on this adult front. Um, there's a couple of things I want to talk about today. First of all, that trauma makes us feel like a child. Now, what do I mean by that? Trauma gets trapped in the body. The, the brain, in order to cope with it, holds us at times in our lives when there was a trauma and the reason that the brain does this subconsciously it holds us at that age because it knows the only way to heal from the trauma is to process it now our instincts as children because we don't have any other means of coping is to bypass it is to kind of stuff it away you know move past um pretend it didn't happen uh, which is the way our parents showed us oftentimes. The thing is, the brain holds us developmentally at the age of the trauma so that we will come back and process it in order to begin to integrate it and to be able to become an adult and move past it. So it's a bit like a roadblock, as some people call it. Um, and that's, you know, if, if you experience things like flashbacks, body aches and pains, illnesses, um, it, it, those can almost be the, the, the signs of the roadblock. Uh, it's like the body is saying, there's a trauma here, we need to process, hello. <laughs> um, and what do we do? We try to suppress these roadblocks with, you know, medication, uh alcohol <laughs> shopping you know whatever it is we try to get rid of these roadblocks we don't want to see the signs and we don't want to know the trauma either um but what happens is we end up beating ourselves up for not being fully integrated and not being you know the adult uh, we expect ourselves to be so that trauma keeps us feeling like a child it does there's a lost child within you who's unable to process the trauma. What also keeps us feeling like a child is that when the trauma happened or, you know, when in childhood we experienced a difficulty or a challenge or something like that, 
we needed an adult to help us process our feelings and to make us feel safe emotionally as a child. We may have felt sort of cared for in other ways, but if we didn't have that sense of being emotionally at ease or being able to find ease with our parents, particularly our primary caregiver, our mother usually, uh, then that leaves us in a state of chaos, um, a state of dysregulation, uh, of fear, um, of not, of not knowing how to cope. Uh, and, and that itself keeps us stuck at that young child's age where the child, you know, is looking for an adult to come in and, and, and bring it relief. Uh, you know, to take charge and to to teach the child the skills it needs in all, order to to calm itself, to make sense of things, uh, and then to move on, to process one's emotions. Uh, but when that parent wasn't able to do that for whatever reason, uh, the child then learns from its parents that what you do in that situation is you stuff it down, uh, you don't go there, and you put on an act. Uh, and at a young age, children are, 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 are trying to be adults for themselves. <laughs> so they, they, they're even sort of adulting from, from a very young age, putting on this front of being okay. Because there's no point in sharing you're not okay because nobody else knows how to handle it. <laughs> So in many ways, many of us have been trying to put on this front of being a capable adult all our lives. But the thing is, it doesn't really work. You know, it, it, that's a sense of being in dis-ease. We don't want to be in dis-ease. We want to bring ease and health and vitality and integration. But many of us stay stuck in this uh, dis-ease, fight or flight trying to avoid uh, feelings, processing, shutting down, etc. So what we need to do here is, and this is what, what I do, many therapists will do with clients, is we go back to the trauma and we go in and we rescue the inner child. And when I say rescue, I mean we bring empathy and we listen, and we begin to process those wounds, uh, process those trapped, stored emotions. Um, you know, because the body and the brain, they're doing, they're doing their bit, what they need to do to, to help us. The body's designed to heal itself. The brain, too, is designed to heal itself. So the reason we're feeling this disconnect between the adult selves, our adult selves, and our inner selves is because there is a disconnect um but with work on the subconscious level uh, and in talk therapy we can reconnect there and we can become that parent to ourselves that we we longed for the one that would come in and soothe us um and you know bring us that sense of relief uh, relief from from overwhelm and from feeling like you can't cope, from from not feeling from feeling like you're alone in things as well. Uh, for many of my clients, this is this is a, this is a wonderful experience uh, to reconnect with that inner child. But for my clients also who have a faith in in God or the universe or something bigger than themselves, that too can be a wonderful source of uh, relief and uh, healing. Um, so if you're feeling this disconnect and you're thinking, right, well, why hang around? Why spend another few years avoiding uh, the roadblocks? Let's get in there and let's just, let's just, so let's go and, and sort it out. Let's start processing it so that you can be uh, at ease. 
Uh, thank you, everybody. If you'd like to work with me, um, as usual, <laughs> uh, I'll leave my Calendly link with this video. And um, I hope you have a lovely evening. Um, and yeah, it's time to stop adulting <laughs> and allow yourself to become the the integrated adult that you're wanting to be. <laughs> and if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for subscribing. Please share if it resonates with you uh, or anyone else you might think of. Um, and I shall see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye now.